<clears throat> hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <coughs> okay. So I do see someone here who wants a happily ever after with you. And someone out here who is emotionally shut off or emotionally being very, very manipulative to a certain extent. Someone out here, out here holds a lot of love for the other person out here, but they're keeping it all to themselves. Let's slide for more. Give me the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Can I put the Ten of Cups? Yep. And give me the King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> yep, that's what's happening here. You're, you're getting communication from someone out here, okay? This is someone here who wants to move things forward with you, okay? They see you as their happiness. This is someone here, Capricorn, who sees you, you know, who wants a fairy tale ending with you, all right? They see you as their all, and this person out here wants to have a happily ever after with you, commitment, marriage, and you take it where it resonates. I feel you're dealing with someone here who's been holding back communication for a very long time and now this person here is desperate to communicate with you and move things forward out here. <coughs> you on the other hand here, my friend. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> you're being very, very emotionally manipulative. Honestly, you're using a lot of... Uh, you're choosing your intuition for the wrong reasons. I'm not gonna lie. You know exactly that this person out here, what is going to drive this person towards you. You know how this person's going to come back towards you. You know exactly what to do, how much to hold back from this person, you know, how long to hold back. You intuitively even know that they're coming back. But you're using it for the wrong reasons, all right? Whatever. I mean, you are messed up emotionally, okay? It's like this whirlpool of emotions going on. One moment you're too logical, the next moment you're too emotional, okay? So take care of yourself, all right? You need to balance yourself out. You need to get your energies, you know, in a very uh, cool, calm, collected way. You need to be more cool, calm, collected, okay? But you, this person out here, whoever this is, is choosing to move forward, which is you. <coughs> So Capricorn, you're clearly still waiting for this person out here. Honestly, I feel like you're playing games with them, Capricorn. I do feel you're playing with games with them. You know that this person loves you, they want you, okay? You know that this person here is, um, they, they, they want you, okay? And you're so sure, your intuition is on point. But I feel here that uh, what you feel for this person is that you want marriage with this person. You want something traditional. And I think for a lot of you, you could be turning your back towards this person, okay? Even though you want this, it's like you're waiting for this person. But it's not like, oh, I'm going to sit here and wait for this person to come towards me and commit to me. It's like, yeah, I'm going to still expand my horizons. I'm still going to look away the other way. It's like that sheer manifestation which is going on from your side, Capricorn. I want this, but I'm not going to sit here waiting around. All right. I do my affirmations. I do my uh, manifestations. And then, then I go around my day. That's exactly what you're doing. You want commitment from this person. You're not giving up on that person. You're not giving hope. Okay. It's You feel deep down this is a divine connection. Okay. It's a spiritually guided connection. You feel a very strong pull to this person out here. You feel you guys are connected on another level out here. So even though you want this for this person, you're not going to sit around there for them to come towards you and communicate with you. Okay. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. But you're still doing you. <clears throat> this person out here, they feel the need to talk to you like now, like now, 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 now. But they're holding back for some reason. They want to make you an offer, okay? This person here sees you as marriage material, okay? They, they want to make you a very practical offer. They want to uh, bring in a lot of stability and security in this connection here, clearly, right? Because this person out here has been holding back from that for a very long time. Uh, <clears throat> I feel this person here waited all this while because they thought you will reach out because they felt that you're the one who wanted it. You're the one who wanted commitment. So you're going to probably chase them. But when you stop chasing them, right? And now that you're moving forward, this person's like, no, 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 whoa, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I was just playing, bro. You know? <laughs> so they, they were just playing. <laughs> there was the winding out here. They, they fooled you. So yeah, this person out here wants to invest into you. Okay? They want to give you their all. They want to give you everything that they have. But they're holding back for some reason out here. And the only reason I think they're holding back is because energetically, they're waiting for you to reach out. Okay? They're waiting. They're giving in their best. They're pushing it to a level where it just gets too much for you. But they're going to make the first move anyways. Capricorn, when it comes to you, I feel that you're stuck. 
okay you're pretty much stuck in your head like i said you do want commitment from this person out here okay but somewhere somehow you're string choosing to stay emotionally closed off okay and uh you're just choosing to walk away but you're in two minds which is why you're stuck a part of you tells you to move on from this person out here and a part of you tells you to wait for this person i feel you're manifesting very beautifully all right but what i don't like is that you're coming from a place of spite you're coming from a place of being vengeful okay so that's what i don't like it's like you know what i know you want me i know you're coming back with commitment and now i'll show you okay so it's like that but honestly what you want from this person you still don't know because you somehow somehow feel a little stuck restricted to this person whether you have options or whether you don't have options there's still this energy where i feel tied down to this person and i don't know why for some reason i can't move on from them okay but deep down you do want to move on from them you just want to stop this you want to get away from this negative communication because you're dealing with someone here who just has a lot of um sabotaging connection energy okay this person keeps sabotaging the connection they know they want you they know what they need to make this connection to move this connection forward out here but they still won't do it okay so you're just giving up all right you're just walking away throwing the swords it's like this is not worth it and you want to move on okay that's what you want you don't want anything from them but unfortunately you're stuck on them now when it comes to your person out here right now what they feel for you deep down and what they want is a little different out here they feel that they want to give you commitment and that's what they even want okay with the 10 of cups they want to communicate but what they want from you right now is like they themselves are in such a rut they're going through so much of disappointment right now there's a huge emotional loss so again they're conflicted too why but they're conflicted in a way where i think it's all over with capricorn capricorn's never salvaging this connection with me capricorn's never giving me a second chance out here okay and they feel they've given up they feel you've given up I mean, <clears throat> they feel you're just like you know you've thrown in the towel and you're like you know what I am done with this. So right now I don't feel that they want anything from you, but I think the least that they could want is like you know what that hope. They're feeling very hopeless right now. You know they want everything with you now. It's that realization. All of a sudden they've realized that they want everything with you now. Okay, because uh, you know uh, the tables have turned and now they wanted you to chase them, but now they're like oh my god. I just got played. All oh, right. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You're both taking a break right now. You both don't want this bullshit. Although you both miss each other very very much. You're both coming off as a point where I miss you and this person misses you too and you're both coming off as very codependent on each other. You're both expecting each other to pull each other out of the rut. Okay? But what I'm getting here is eventually the mutual feeling you both have is like just dropping the swords. You both just don't feel that it's it's <clears throat> right now i feel there's a tug of war going on okay but you want to win they're like no i win okay so it's like winning at winning at any cost kind of energy out here but you're both dropping the sword just like you know what it's an empty victory we're both losing it okay so we're both losing the game no one's winning out here you both are on a break i feel you both still need some time before you guys can get back together collaborate team work or at least make this work out and come to a point where at least you guys can see eye to eye and there's no power struggle between you both i'm getting two scenarios here maybe this person's uh thoughts are actually coming into reality and you're genuinely just throwing in the towel okay because it's just like you know what i feel capricorn you 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 feel that this is a situation no matter how much you hold on to maybe it's just never going to be over or you're just never going to get the closure that you want so you're just like you know what let it go all right you're just like drop it let it go the other scenario i'm getting here is that this person out here okay uh they know that holding on to this okay is a big struggle out here but they're just being very very uh rigid very stubborn out here still holding on to their uh, still being stubborn about it uh, because of which there is still unfinished business between you both and you can take it how it resonates all right because things are still not over between you both whether you want closure or whether you want clarity and so that thing can move on to the next level out here whatever it is it is unfinished business out here and i feel is unfinished business because one person out here is not willing to cooperate someone out here is not willing to budge and i feel it's this person out here there's a lot of stubborn energy from their side 
See, if they communicate and you get clarity, at least you guys know where this is headed. But if they don't communicate, you're like, screw it. You're waiting for them to come in. So if they don't communicate, nothing moves forward and the cycle still stays incomplete. Both need to learn their lessons, which is why the cycle isn't over yet. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hope this reading resonates. Do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.